To him who loved us and saved us by the power of his blood, and made us to be a kingdom of priests, serving his God and Father, to Christ be glory, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. Back on 922, right, September the 22nd, I was notified of some disturbing news. Uh, a position to which I had um, seriously applied for was rejected. Upon finding out about this rejection, seeing it in the email, I was totally dismayed, I was shocked and devastated. Never in my life have I ever attempted to apply for a position such like this one. This position was an entry level position. It was an apprentice uh, uh, type of position. I had qualifications surpassing the position, which made the news even harder for me to take. And as my lease comes to an end here in October, I am not quite sure where it is that I shall land. I have an inclination, yes, but I do not know between here uh, in San Diego and Los Angeles um, where it is that I shall be placed. But certainly God knows and I will uh, be led in the direction and the place to which God has indeed for me. To be honest here, when I received this 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 news, right, this this bad news, my faith was a bit shaken. And I was absolutely sure that I had landed this position. I mean, all of the signs were there. I had a referral into the job. I had a recommendation, a strong recommendation from a member of management for the job. I used to work for the same organization uh, for the past 13 years. My interview was outstanding, so much so that I asked for feedback from the interview and, and, and asked why it was that I wasn't selected for the position and there was absolutely no feedback. The uh, She indicated, the hiring manager, that they went forward with a, another candidate. They informed me um, during the, uh, even after this interview, that, um, that it would take uh, about a month or so to hire me and upon the end of the interview i had their phone numbers the hiring manager and their emails um never have i received that information in an interview and i did use it to say to those hiring managers thank you and i also asked uh, calculated and impressionable questions to show forth my additional interest I even asked if I could have information to which I could study in advance. It has been nine long months of unemployment. So yeah, I took this a bit hard. And I remember recalling to God, saying to God, what the fuck? Where are you? I really needed this in tears. And out of the whole nine months, it was my only sure, hopeful, expected outcome one of only two interviews that I had for the, I want to say hundreds of jobs that I applied for. But I just knew that this position was mine. I even dreamed about it. Perhaps it was another position there. Um, but what I can honest to God say is that there is one last position for I applied for two with the same organization. This one was denied. And now my only hope, my only chance lies with the last position to which I apply for still within the same organization. But nonetheless, I digress. This was a crisis of faith for me. And I had to realize that 
um, you know what? I got to find me some kind of support, support that a preacher needs, not just any kind of, I don't need somebody just to, uh, re, um, to say a scripture to me, the scripture that I already know and, um, give, you know, kind of some shallow or, um, uh, shallow, uh, words of encouragement for in that moment, it was if, as if everything, all of my efforts, my, my hope, um, came crashing down on me. And so I did see, seek spiritual advice from, um, this Christian, uh, uh, uh gifted, uh, in, insight, uh, as she was very instrumental, she said that I wasn't abandoned at all. She picked up on the energy, uh, and she also picked up on what happened. She said the door wasn't the right door for me, and further, the energy behind that door was very low. And my energy, she, she said, my energy is higher and ascending. She further indicated that if I were to work with these folk, that my energy, unfortunately, would be lowered. She suggested also that I write down exactly the kind of salary to which I am expecting and to stick with that, which is a strong indication to me that um, they were paying well below what I was seeking. And with this being the state of California, obviously it's very expensive to live here and the cost of living, as many of you all know, is extremely expensive. I subscribe to um, an email uh, sent by a bishop uh, that helps with prophecy. And the bishop provided prophetic insight in this letter he addressed to me on 831. It indicated that the month of September that I would experiencing uh, experience a time of discouragement and that it would be critical, critical to pray and praise God because God is working to bring me into a season of newness, happiness, miraculous blessings. And I was kind of shocked, you know, when I read this letter on 831, I was thinking to myself, what could possibly discourage me in, in the month of September? Um, my praise, my worship has been taken to another level. I am ascending just like the, um, the Christian spiritualists indicated. So I thought on 831, what could possibly discourage me? Um, and I never thought that it would be the job to which I applied for, to which I was rejected on 922 but after reading that letter on 922 and seeing that there that 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 the discouragement certainly came about due to the rejection of this job the prophet of god was absolutely right so his words that I should continue to pray and continue to praise God because God is working to bring me into a season of newness and happiness and miraculous and blessings. This seriously helped me to come out of the pit of discouragement. Yes, even preachers, preachers, servants of God need words of encouragement. I am so thankful that I had this help from another colleague, another servant leader in the faith. Even now, as I write, right, I was writing this message on 923 on the beach. The song that was playing, the gospel song that was playing in my ear on my fasting day, right? The next day, Wednesday, my fasting day. Um, Look how uh, coincidental that was, but there is no coincidences in the faith. But nonetheless, the song that was pumping in my ears, gospel music, the song was Keep Praying, I Know What Prayer Can Do, a song by Ricky Dillard um, and the New Generation Chorale. 
Our scripture today comes from Romans chapter 5, verse 3. It's not an um, unfamiliar scripture. I'm sure that you all have heard it. It's, it is very popular. It reads thus so. Not only that, but we rejoice in our suffering, knowing our suffering produces endurance, and that endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope that does not put us to shame because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has given, who has been given unto us. The next day I received so many words of encouragement and those synchronicities that I had made mention to you in the numbers and with regards to angels, those are angel messengers. They are still being poured in. Just yesterday, uh, I, I saw 777 and 888. Those are some of the best numbers that you could possibly see with regard to angelic synchronicity messages. The message of spiritual, um, spiritual supernatural success. 888 talks about wealth and abundance and the fact of good karma, good karma being repaid back to you. All those times that you helped somebody, all of those times that you spoke of words of encouragement, all of those 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 seeds of um, of grace and uh, unselfishness, right? All of that good karma is coming right back to you in full force, abundance, wealth, and prosperity. Even eight 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 eight, the highest um, message that you could possibly receive regarding abundance, was given to me on yesterday. These messages, these angelic synchronicities, my affirmations, the words that are received from this bishop and the Christian spiritualist, this is evidence of the signs that the promises of God are well within reach. There will be no more closed doors for now all doors will be open doors to which no one will be able to shut these doors that God will ultimately lead and provide you into. These doors are miraculous doors. They unveil the fruits of a servant's labor. Yes, at that particular moment on 922, my head was down, but now it stands lifted because there is no more bad news. You are the favor of God. I am the favor of God. And there will be so many blessings for the next oncoming nine months that the previous nine months will all be a thing of the past. It will be forgotten for I have made it thus far against all odds. And I tell you one thing that I've had more money in my account than even now, even now without a job. I, I still can't fathom the idea uh, of not having a job and yet having your rent and bills. I haven't missed any meals. I've probably added on to some, some meals um, with me working out. But God is providing uh, even without a job. So allow God to do just what he said. Allow God to carry you through this difficult time. For even in this time, right, even in this season of wilderness, like the Israelites uh, traveling through the wilderness, they were receiving manna from heaven, manna from heaven and water from God's provided resources. Like when, when, um, when Moses struck the rock and the water came out, God is a provider and even with all of that, you should be able to say, thank you, Lord, because that is a miracle to have absolutely nothing coming in and yet to have yet to have all of your needs being provided for yet to not be starving, yet not to be out on the street and yet to have all of the resources that you need, even entertainment. Uh, to which you can watch a, a, a little few hours of TV or your favorite show or whatnot, all of that electricity, running water. This is all from the abundance that God has unto you 
further. You shall reap if you faint not. Just hold on. Therefore, choose today. Choose today to reap. The same message that God has given to me is the same message that I give before you. Yes, I had to be broken. Yes, I had to be prodded. Uh, yes, I was cracked and, and, and measured and tested beyond anything that I could ever imagine but all of that was for a purpose. All of my experiences and my le the lessons to which I've learned is the same lessons that I share with you. And if you are being blessed for that, if you, your life is being healed and being delivered, that is not me. It is all God. So the lessons that he has given to me and the trials and the tribulations, it was all worth it. It was all worth it because you are worth it. You are being healed. You are being delivered. It is bringing you closer to God as it is bringing me closer unto God. So know this, that I am not a quitter. You are not a quitter and neither has God given up on you. Now is the time to reap the harvest. This is the time of favor. This is the time of miraculous increase. This is the time to which God will bring deliverance, the miraculous deliverance, the breakthrough. You know what a breakthrough is. A breakthrough is being in a tough position to which you cannot pass, right? And it is dark, it is weary, and it is frustrating. That's where we are. And that once God breaks through, breaks through that matter, breaks through that glass, breaks through that wall, whatever is is standing in your way. That is a breakthrough, a breakthrough, breaking through matter to which now there is an open area for you to walk through. This is the time for the breakthrough. So thank God in advance for the miraculous blessings, the supernatural abundance, and the supernatural success that is surely on the way. Remember the songs to which we sang in church as we grew up. All things come of thee, O Lord, and of thy own have we given unto thee. To whom all blessings flow. There is no lack in Christ. There is only gain, my brothers and sisters. There is life and life abundantly. Now, I want you to take those words, these words that you have heard on today, apply them to your own situation, work on your affirmations of faith. Do not give up for the promises of God are well within reach. They are nigh and they are here. The scripture says, lift up your heads, all ye gates, and the king of glory shall come in. Now unto him who is able to keep us from falling, to present us faultless before his glorious presence with exceeding great joy. To him who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can even ask, attempt, or even think. To Christ be glory, dominion, and power, both now and forevermore. Let the people of God say amen. God bless you. I'll see you on next week.